Welcome back everyone, I'm of course Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me in Overall Blues as we are kicking some Zapata booty. So, last time we were stretched out pretty darn thinly, in which some of you guys were concerned that uh, we might get taken out, but right now well, I think we're doing pretty darn well. So there's a comment from yesterday t telling me how to get rid of... Actually, let's go to some of this stuff first. Uh, Flalux Stagnation. All you have to do is click on this, apparently. You want to remove Flalux Stagnation for three... 100 political, 300 political power. So, thank you very much. I forgot how to do this. And now we can actually select a higher conscription level, which actually I'm not going to do right now since we're doing pretty darn well. We are demobilizing, I guess, a little bit, but. Mm, okay, maybe we'll go up anyways. We're going to lose 10% stability, which sucks. And infrastructure construction speed and resource efficiency gain, but. Oh, wait, hold on. This is all 150. Hold. Hmm. Well then, um, I guess you might as well do that then. If they all cost 150, you might as well get as much political power or manpower as possible, I guess. I don't see any downside to really doing that, so... Sure, why not? Mobile society, now nah, we good. We good about doing that one too. Demand, reduce conscription. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're doing pretty darn well. We're just piercing their little booties here. And because we're mobilizing way more now, we can actually afford more guardia divisions. I'm gonna go with like 10 for now, because we're gonna need a lot. It's gonna cost a lot of manpower, but that's okay. It's gonna cost a lot of equipment, and that's okay as well. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure that we have one solid front line, not against Imperial Mexicano, uh, but just against Zapata, even though we'll probably take out Imperial Mexicano eventually, maybe. Keep going, those guys. Keep going, keep going. Just because I know Kaiser will eventually want to go to war with us, because we do own Genta del Sol. Even though they're busy fighting the Dam Busters, they want Genta del Sol. I think eventually. Yeah, they're still fighting down there, which really sucks for them, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter to us. It really does not. So we should never have to really raise our conscription level again. Now, we shouldn't have to, but we'll definitely see what happens. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. You're doing a real, 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 real great job. We have 34%. They have 65 For now. For now. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Uh, here. Keep doing some more of that. That's fine. Still getting 0.3 a day. That's not bad. Travel huts. Kind of cool. We're pretty much done for everything here, except for these two, which I'm going to ignore for now. Infantry stuff, we're done. Support companies are getting saws. Cool. We can't do that. We can't do this. Land auction is done. Specialized auction, well, can keep going ahead. Uh, air stuff, we can't do anything. Engineering, we, we're pretty much kind of out of shape right now for what we can do. So I'm going to keep grabbing more naval stuff, because... Oh, well, we can always build more ships. Send out some manual prospectors. I like doing that. 55 factorinos, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and do this, though. Pop! Goodbye. Whose divisions are these? Uh, let's see. One, two... Well, if that's the case, come over here and just help out. Try to take as much land as you possibly can. Because I want to get at least 50%. That'd be really good. 37%. Uh, what's the manpower like of Imperial Mexicano? Construction engineering. That's pretty good. Once we get a bigger army, we'll have no problem taking them out, but... For now, hmm. Not bueno. 38%, not bad. Sauce, 39%, not bad. Let's see. Free fighters, probably go with miniguns. We're not that advanced to get Tesla cannons. Uh, follow the demand, reduce conscription, but nope. 40%. Good, good, good. So after this, I'm thinking we I want to take out the ranchers or Los Granjas, but that just means... These guys might get taken out by Kaiser, and I want to limit the amount of border we have with them. So, instead, we're going to go down here. See what we can do about that. Because, at this point, we must be very aggressive, right? Might as well. Uh, General Sun Eater. Yes, more attack. Jose. Jose oh, two Jose's. Cool. Uh, we got a lot of attacks, so that's what we need for Spec Ops Divisions. Uh, let's see. Power Armor, Max Entrenchment. That might not be bad, but you're going to be attacking a lot, so... Don't lose too many guys for us, okay? Okay, thanks. Cool. Bye. Uh, I'll grab that too. Ah, the great rematch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. New Vegas with a special radio broadcast for you tonight. Going live from the Las Mocas Ring and comes the greatest wrestling match of all of the apocalypse. The atmosphere in the ring is tense enough to cut through steel as the three luchadors contending for the title of leader of the free fighters face each other. The Blue Demon is the first to make a move, searching out a weak point in Mil Mascaris' defenses. <clears throat> The Green Giant is about to retaliate, catching the Demon in a ground slam before El Santo leaps onto his back with a somersault. 
Fearing a repeat of the first rematch, Mel Mascaras quickly disengages before the Blue Demon reveals a secret weapon. Sliding under the ring, he returns to the fray holding a Robco Titanium Folding Chair and will begin to wail on Mascaras before El Santos land a swift blow on them both. This battle is one for the ages, folks. The dust of the ring is getting too thick to see, but as the bell rings for the first round, we can confirm we have one elimination. Who is eliminated? So, I asked you guys yesterday which path we should go down. And I haven't revealed to you guys yet which one we're going to go down, but someone recommended the Great Federation. Someone recommended uh, the Blue Devil. Not too much. I don't think it was too much for the High Flyer, which Mil Mascaris is cool and all, but uh, it seems okay. It seems okay. Welcome refuge. Oh, we can. Oh, welcome refugees taking. Ah, okay. Hmm. Cool. Very cool. I'm just gonna say El Santo's eliminated. Gets the event rematch. Uh, the Giant and the Saint. Mil Mascaras is eliminated. Show me the people. El Santo has won. This is El Santo's path. El Santo is eliminated. I'm gonna say Mil Mascaras for now. Let's go with that. The Great Rematch, The Devil and the Saint. Once again, the Demon and the Saint managed to work together to defeat Mil Mascaras, this, but this time, however, there will be no truce. Circling each other, folding chair in one corner, fists of righteousness in the other. The battle's long and dirty, and while both sides appear to be evenly matched, there can only be one winner. The Blue Demon, or El Santo. Oh boy, oh boy. Honor the Cruel. Love, Death, and Robots. Shard War seems very interesting. Bring true freedom. Sons of Nessimus will honor Tlaloc's legacy by squashing those upstarts. Down the coast. Oh, we got, get a claim on them immediately. Nueva Atzalan. Or P Champion of the People. Will of the Many. True of the Hero. Cool. Message to all people. Stoking the fires. Spread his message. Tyrants with fear and trouble. Rage against the tyrants. And the Great Federation. It's not through conquest, but through cooperation. Love everyone who loves freedom. Partial to a good wrestling match. Make common cause against it. And our new Great Federation. Uh, well, we've already said we're not going down this way. Sorry, Mil Mascaras. Sorry, but it is what it is. All right, before we do that, let's see. Standing against the bull, Call of Lucha, Battle in the Encordado, Against All Odds, 10,000 Voices, The Great Effort, The Grip of Death, The com comment, the Comment of Righteousness, and The Unrelenting Assault. You know what? Hmm. Rise against tyrants. Rise of the B team. Huh. Uh, you know what? I think for this campaign, we're just gonna go down with the blue demon, just because I want to go to war with more people. And doing this, it sounds like we're gonna like ally with other people, and they, when they love freedom. So I don't want to really do that. I'm gonna do soaking the fires, but let's see what the shard wars are like. So the blue demon wins the match. Bittersweet victory. The Blue Demon has emerged as the uncontested leader of the Free Fighters, but not without cost. Oh, boy. And unfortunately, I will be right back. All right, everyone, my apologies about that. I had to go pick up my cup of coffee that I forgot about, but let us continue. So, really, Blue Demon, I mean, there's support for the Blue Demon, there's support for El Sancho. Uh, El Sancho? El Santo. So, it is what it is. I wish you could choose both, or actually all three guys still, Las Tres Mascaras, but it is what it is. And, and for now, I think... It is appropriate that we give, at least, Maximilian a few things. Uh, that's it. I can have that too. We'll take the rest of this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Por Zapata. Por Por Zapata. Now, I guess we really didn't need to justify on these guys, but, you know, whatever. At this point. It doesn't really matter. Cool. So, I'm going to do this. Give me two of you guys. Come over here, because you're going to take the main brunt of the attacks over here. Good. You guys help support the attack right there, and just kind of push away that way. You guys come up there, and I'm gonna split you guys in half. Let time go on so we get things done. Good, good. Great Kong's join Kaizo's Legion, huh? Cool. And then you guys come down here. Very good. I guess we all have upgrades, huh? Well, that's pretty good. At least we know that we can pierce enemies. Um. Robots. I could not think of that word. Holy cow. My mind is just gone right now. Bloody mess. That definitely would not be good for us. Ninja. We already have a lot of recon. 50% recon. I prefer 100% recon. As much recon as possible. Sun Eater's still there. That's fine. And then... And then he gay. Level 5. Not bad. Uh, go ahead and train if you need it. Anyone that really actually needs it, which honestly is just spec ops, which is fine. Uh, 57 factories. Not bad. We need more spec ops equipment, which is fine. Oh, we're just building up stuff. Sun Eater falls ill. Uh, we 
should build up our lands a little bit more, actually. Don't ah, there they go, the damn busters. Finally, they can probably do something else. And by they, I mean Kaizo's Legion. Go and do that. So many more factories and stuff like that. Uh, lick the bull's wounds, huh? I guess the burn man. They lost the battle of the dam. Cool. And then they're going to eventually kill each other, which we might go to war with Kaizo's Legion at the same time that NCR does. That's not a bad idea. How did you guys survive? Huh. The bear port, huh? Actually, what is the focus street like? Did they change this? Oh, yeah, the Western Brotherhood of Steel is gone as well. Uh, no, they've not changed it yet, which is fine. They're, eventually, they will. They will update it, which is good. Lots of new stuff. Look at that manpower. Beautiful. How oh, about settlements? That'd be great. Uh, we're out of political power still. Oh, Imperial Mexicano took a war on Mokta. Oh, I kind of want to go to war with them now, then. Mmm, 175 death. Oh, we don't have political power for this. Oh, this hurts me. Oh, that's not good. Eh, that's not good. Come on. Uh, can we actually send you volunteers? We might be able to, actually. Uh, no one really seems that much better, so. And, of course, they would. I thought they would do that, but whatever. Ooh, are we suffering attrition here, maybe? We- Ah, we actually are. That's not good. Go ahead and help out, then. Get, like, three things of infrastructure. That's fine. Ah, demons do despite the dishonor in his victory. The blue demon has entered or merged as the victor of the great rematch. Many in the Federation murmur about the foul play and the grievous wounds that El Santo and Mel Mascar suffered as a result, but none can deny his victory. Chairs are totally legal, right? Hopefully the unity of having a sole leader will outweigh any damage in the trust the tribes have in the Federation. Cool. Hey, light machine guns. Nothing like like machine guns and the blue demon coming to power. Uh, yeah, we're really running out of things to do. I wish, oh, I hope we can become civilized. I really do. Uh, we don't need that yet. Uh, we could grab that, but we're gonna grab more of this, so. Cool. What else can we do? Ah, oh, stand against the bull. That's not bad. We actually might choose that right now. Honor the cruel. Well, the alternative blue demon. Route. Well, let's do the shard words. While Tlaloc may have been a great protector of Mexico, his sons do not seem to hold his views. We shall honor Tlaloc's legacy by squashing these upsets and bringing true freedom to his people. Sounds like a good idea. White legs declare. Oh, well, so much for white legs and. Oh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of leg. White claws. Cool. Old world blues. They find nothing. They stared in the abyss and found absolutely nothing. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, if we can only make so. Good ships, or relatively okay ships. Yeah, we better wait for that. If I was Moctezuma, I'd just be holding out the entire time. Just hold out. Let them kill each other. It's okay. Ooh, Cascadian aggression for Tumble Smear. Wildlife aggression. Oh, the Mormons are having a problem. Imperial Mexicano, a thousand versus a thousand. They're pretty balanced. Actually, they're really balanced. Even though Maximilian took over all this territory, he still has almost the exact same industrial level as Moctezuma. Montezuma. Wowzers. Now I'm going to do that, but you're not going to get that. There you go. Cool. Alright, start making some better ships. Or actually getting ships, so that would be important to do as well. Uh, what was that thing I wanted to do with political power? I don't remember. Was it over here, maybe? Policies? I don't know. Have a sip of coffee. Free fighter coffee. Great stuff, my friends. Hmm... Cavs, ships. Oh, uh, there goes Pecos Colony. Uh, yeah, that's not really good. I don't remember. I really don't remember. The local army is always good to have. Every cap of the army would be very good to get eventually, too. Local leaders. Yeah, good military academy officers eventually, maybe. <sighs> Air equipment technology. That really doesn't matter. We can't even get any of this stuff. So, doing this would be a complete waste of political power. Peaceful origins. That's kind of a waste. Experience soldiers' losses. We might as well do that one since. Well, we will have some experienced soldier losses. Uh, infrastructure, is it doing any better? Hopefully it is. We might actually continue to just get some more. There actually might be a lot of resistance, that's why. Yeah, there we go. Pacification, pacification, pacification. Cool. Oh, wait, we have not yet been able to core stuff yet. That's, that makes sense. Cool. So, shard wars. I'm going to wait to see what the shard wars, shard wars are like before I do anything else.
cool. And then we'll do down the coast. Uh, which, actually, we're going to wait to do that. So, on to the cruel. None can question the might of the Dom Blue Demons. With our place in the Federation secured, we can now start to revise our cruel legacy in the eyes of the fellow luchadors. We'll see what happens. Shard Wars. Do we have anything for Shard Wars? I don't see anything for Shard Wars. Can I sell some equipment? Not really. Are we out? Oh, we are out of equipment. Oh, that's not good. Well, now we can cut this way back down. There we go. Back to five. Hey, military factory is nice. Uh, do that. There you go. And then do that. And then maybe do this. And then do that too. Good. Uh, you probably can go back to five, actually. Go to five up there. That's fine. Go to ten. Cool. Anything else? LMGs? If we get enough? Sure, why not? But we probably won't get there for a very, 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 very long time. We can buy some more equipment. Uh, how much do we actually need, though? Twelve. Yeah, we can buy some. Oh, declare war. Oh, we can actually just go... See, this is why I want... I waited to go to war with them. More mobilization speed, less division training time. More planning to declare war in Mexico. Oh, that could be so good. Let's go to war with these guys first, though. Ah, oh, yes. Very good, very good. And now they're going to immediately attack us. Let everyone attack, because we got to get ready to go to war with these guys. Because we're just going to be taking their lands as fast as possible. Can we pierce them? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we can. Because we're going to need a lot of factories. Loads of factories. Move, move, move. We're going to not be winning here yet. Oh, they got a lot of divisions. A lot more than I thought they did. The wood treatment? Cool. Come on, get in there. Go, 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 good. Kill them all. Yeah, we'll probably suffer quite a few casualties because I'm doing it crazily. That's okay. Losses, 500 versus 253 for us. Oh, you gotta help him out, man. Come on. Help him out. Push him out. They really don't want us to get their capital. Which makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't want to lose my capital either, but you're gonna lose it. Whether you like it or not. Actually, send one guy down there. We can cut them off completely, which is awesome. Good. We cut him off. Good. Help him out here. Might as well try, right? These guys are going to die very easily. There's not that many divisions around here, but that's okay. Like, Oh, White Claws. Oh, they're actually... Me Mexicano's losing. Cool. White Claws. No longer White Legs. They don't, don't... They no longer have White Legs. They're just White Claws now. Cool. Help them out. Help them out. Beat them up. There's a lot of enemy divisions. 54. God dang. Oh. Wait. Oh, why did you go to war with those guys, too? Oh, man. That's not good. That's not good. Heaven's Gate anointed. Cool. Get some more weaponry because we're going to need it for resistance stuff. I can already tell. Border disputes between us and the ranchers. God dang, ranchers. I guess they're done. Well, that's okay. No, you're not really done. You ain't done until I tell you're done. Over here. The dredgers were gone. Keep the navy. You must well do that because we're going to start making a big old navy, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Come on. Keep, keep going, guys. There's literally nothing else that they can do right now for the most part. We're going to have to get, kill all these divisions off. <sighs> I don't want the ranchers to fight me, though. I really don't want to fight them. Echo's Colony is doing pretty well. What's wrong with Kaiser's Legion? Phoenix Salvage? They're, all, they're out of manpower. That's not good. Oh, Chichen Itza is fighting the robots line as well. Or no, it's just Petro Chico. Or maybe they are. Oh. Honor the cruel, my friends. Next up, the Rise of the B-Team. The followers of the Blue Demon have always had one thing in common. Rarely are they individuals who have to have thought to have been destined for any kind of greatness. Outcasts, criminals, and broken souls who wander without hope. Above all other things, the Blue Demon strives to forge these people into something worthwhile, forever lifting the B-Team into the future. Wow, we need more caps. Holy crap. Oh! It'd be probably be PC out. We have to for that. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm going to take quite a few losses, but that's okay. That's the way you're going to win here. 80s join... Oh my gosh, that's a big empire. 80s and them? Whoa. I can't imagine they have that much more manpower left, to be honest with you. Two or three thousand, ten factories. Stockpile wise, I'm sure they got still got some good stuff. Cascadia, Whistler Nomads, cool. Troll Warren and Klamath. Looks like we got some more research done, maybe. Some more ship stuff done. Sales, yeah. That'd be good. There go Crazy Horns.
Go right on ahead if you can. How's resistance in these various areas? We could use more stability though. With some pacifications, spartic outposts. Uh, you guys just use riders, that's fine. Storage compartments, great. Oh, down, down there. Good, good, good. Get more army XP, which is okay. I mean, you're literally gonna die here for your country, so. Hope you signed up. You knew what you were signing up for, enemies. Surprised we aren't taking any uh, damage. Like, uh, supply damage. I mean, like, out of supply stuff. Cool. Cool. And we'll get them done eventually. I can't imagine they have that much more strength, though. Good. How is Mach. How are Klaloc's sons doing? Mach. Oh my gosh. They're doing really. They're doing. What is going on? Holy crap. Holy cow. Energy still getting boost. You got plenty of manpower. You guys are starving and hurting yourselves. You're hurting yourselves. Mexico's on fire now. Sound from the front. Let's get some more uh, war support. That's definitely necessary for a thing like this. 88%. Come on. Oh my goodness. This takes forever to do. We can't even get down here, which sucks. They have to be out of weaponry. They have to be. Stockpile. Entry weapons. Templates. Stockpile. I still got 500 things of it. Rise of the V team. Get more manpower, because down the coast. Uh, let's do something else. Oh, hey, look! Getting the gang back together. What is a cartel but a misguided tribe, uh, tribe of Lucha? The blue demon will take these broken, drug addict banditos and turn them into something greater than themselves, something worthy of the Lucha mask. Ah, good egg! Finally, we get actually some cores on our territory, so I don't have to use console commands. Thank goodness. I don't want, I don't like using console commands. That ruins the experience to a degree. Oh, God, this is taking forever, but there's nothing I can do about it. This is the way we have to go. We've lost 1,300, they've lost... No, I'm, I'm pretty sure they lose more than that by now. So, this sucks. This really sucks, but this is the only way we can do stuff. Long bolt holes, cool. Very good, very good, very good. Pickup's colony has gone. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Robco, major businesses, uh, naval designer, production costs. You might as well do that one, why not? Not bad, pretty good. Still out of caps, that's okay, and we're still out of infantry command, which really sucks. I should not have lowered this, and I do not, which is good, but still. 20,000 manpower, never enough. Outpost, outpost, pacification, go and go back down to spread outpost, that's fine. Won't need less for that. Spec Ops. You don't have enough on here. Uh, throw on Recon, maybe? Yeah, throw on the Recon. That'd be fine. Throw on some dogs as well. Helps with your breakthrough. How many dogs we got? Dogs, 176. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Sail Navigations. That's cool. Schooner Holes. They had to be getting close to 4,000. I mean, that's ridiculous. Come on. Come on, game. I hate this so much. Oh my god, we can't... You know what? If Mon Moctezuma is still going to war with you know, Aslan, I'm still going to kill these guys off. Look at all the resistance they're going to deal with. That manpower's got to go down. Stockpile-wise, we can probably still beat them up if we're smart about it, so... If we're smart. Then again, I went to war with these guys doing this, so... We'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, come on! Jesus, this is taking... This is, this is just too long. I mean, honestly, you how are they, or even... I'm suffering from attrition. How are they not suffering from, like, anything? There has to be some sort of stacking penalty for this. Come on, man. Seriously, getting the game back together? New Mask, same Benditos. The fight with the cartel, or one of these cartels, was one of the greatest matches in our history, with the bloody bandit himself staring down our fiercest luchadors in battle. The Blue Devil, recognizing such prowess for the victory that it is, has decided to embrace the defeated, defeated cartel with his, under his tutelage. To teach him the true meaning of wrestling. Yes, wrestling. Like, there's nothing else you can do here. Like, come on. Seriously. Kill them off or die yourself. You're gonna force attack. I don't I don't care. It's either you kill them or you die. Like, there's no in-between. Hey, look, we can build more stuff up, though. That's nice. And then we're gonna really start building up some of the military factories. Oh, thank you. Good. 
Uh, this is so annoying. This is... And there's nothing else you can do. You have to attack. This is so stupid. Ah, the ranchers are going to work. Good. Well, kind of good. Come on. Kill them off. I mean, they're just taking so long to do this. It's ridiculous. We've lost way too many guys for this. There's nothing we can do. Do we have any planes? I'm gonna build an airbase around here. Actually, don't build it there. Build it here. We do have an airbase up here. Do we have any planes? We might have a few, two planes to use, maybe. It's not gonna do very much. Go and do that too. Come down here and do that as well. Multi deck construction, good. Even with air XP, we're like, I mean, it's not a lot of, you know, damage that we can do, but, you know, it's. It's what we got. It's really just what we got. Keep it up. I mean, there's literally nothing we can do. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to do this off screen. I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So we have done it. Oh, at least I, I took him off, off screen. Off screen, which took super long. Holy crap! That was. That's a bit ridiculous that you can death stack 50 divisions on El Foro or the Forum. Forum and have nothing happen there. Like, no stacking penalty for 50 divisions. I should have taken some hits, but, or some problems, some stacking penalties too, but my god, 50 divisions and no stacking penalty? That's a bit of a mistake. But anyways, we can do Land of Empires, uh, so let's get you back up to speed. Uh, Montezuma's won against Imperial Mexicano, which is insane. That is nuts. So the ranchers are fighting the Kaiser's Legion, the Pecos colonists are taken out. Um, other than that, not too much else has really happened though. Joel Warren is still looking pretty thick. I got some more political power, but let's spend some of it and do this. Land of Empires, stand against a bull. Uh, we don't want to piss them off too much yet. Special forces. Ah, super mutant auxiliaries. Gigante Verde Cult. The giant green cult is a group worshipping its namesake, Verde. Most comprised of semi intelligent super mutants. The only thing stopping them from joining the Federation is mutant bias on our side. Easily suplexed bias, that is. So I'm going to go straight to war with these guys because they're still busy fighting Moctis. Mo no. The people down here, Nueva Atzalan, because Moctezuma is fighting them. Moctezuma is not leading Nueva Atzalan, which is a good thing. They still have almost 101 divisions. The best time to go is now, though, to be honest with you, just because the enemies are distracted down there. And uh, the faster we can go to war and take them out, the better for everyone. Square rig sails. Oh, uh, we, we got schooner holes. Get some sails down there. We're going to get some heavy machine guns and then really start upgrading our navy. Are we still mobilizing? We are still mobilizing. Wow. Pretty good. Uh, so, luckily, when we capitulate them, we got a bunch of infantry equipment. Like 4,000, I guess, or something. Or making that much. Spec Ops equipment's looking good. Infantry armor. I did have to rearrange a couple of the stuff because 20, and then 5, and then a few dogs. No infantry. None of that. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can win the war against these guys. So, let us begin. Ah, yes. Oh, crap. 35 days. Oh, man. That's not good. I should have clicked on that earlier. Um, hopefully you guys can hold out. Oh, please hold out. Please hold out. Oh, for the love of God, please hold out. Uh, in the meantime, we're probably going to end up coring bits and parts of Zapata. I don't know if we can actually do other stuff. Also, I, w between where I left off earlier and right now, I did ch check your comments and I did look at them and said, apparently, y'all said I couldn't do this path. Like, new mask, same bandit, getting the game back together because I did not choose a tale for every villain, which I should have done earlier on. But, hey, it still worked out for us. I guess they'll do it, which is great. Come on, go, 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 go. Please don't capitulate. Please don't capitulate. We, oh, we're halfway there. Come on, don't capitulate. I'm glad they can't take the capital yet. Woo! Oh, boy. The guys are coming in. Also, let's see. Two air wings. Not bad. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're building up civilian factories so we can make more military factories and stuff like that. That'll be good. Ranchers, please hold out. Oh, the ranchers are really trying to escape their homeland, huh? Woo! But my goodness. Bias royalty, you are a pain in the butt. Anyone have upgrades, actually? We... I think we ended up killing, like, 6,000 of the guys. Actually, we probably killed everyone since all the divisions technically perished. But still. Oh, uh, that's looking pretty good. We can't do that. Because we're not civilized, which sucks. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. There's really not much else we can do here. So that's okay. Let's actually focus on getting some better ships. Wait, are triremes... No, we want schooner hulls. Oh, we can do that stuff too. Schooner hulls. Let's see, sails. Sails. Anything here? Messenger seagulls. Medium deck weaponry. Naval ballistas, yes please. Uh, light decks. Scorpions. Eh. 
Needle Ballista, or Point Defense. Yeah, let's get some Point Defense. Long Range Optics, Long Range Optics. Get some armor on those bad boys. Storage compartments. That would be better. And then... Less Light Attack, but even more Piercing. Uh, let's see... Uh, not really. I'm gonna keep this one on then. There we go. And then keep that one on there, that's fine. I don't want to use any more of that. Point defense. There you go, there you go. That's looking pretty nice. Can we do anything here? Nope, that's okay. It's gonna hold. We're actually gonna make some ships finally. But um, somewhere it doesn't really matter. And then we'll make some other stuff very soon. Nice. Oh god, now we're gonna need more resources. Oh boy. Uh well, we still got these guys, so go ahead and do some of that. And Super Million Auxiliaries, which we're probably not going to use, and then Heavyweight Champions. The recently integrated Super Mutants of the Gigante Verde Cult has been a boon for the wrestling rap matches. As further fights happen, we, uh, we get a greater understanding and appreciation of these fleshy titans, and how they can help us fight the cartels. Good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, uh, good. Hey, we went to war. Good. I like that. So we got Outriggers over there. Let's grab this. Oh, everyone hates Nueva Atzalan now, which is fine with me, because we don't really like them either, but... Alright, so they can a thousand casualties. Oh my gosh, Nueva Aslan is about to die. Oh, that's not good. But you, be you guys better push quickly, man. Y'all better push as fast as possible. Get in there so we can select you all and do this. One front. Well, almost one front. Because you three are still going to stay right here. And do that. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, escape slaves. Freedom is the right of every wastelander until we're in charge. So, even then, we'll still be in charge and we'll still do very well. Oh, oh boy, there goes Nueva Atalan. That is not good. Now we're gonna get uh, get into some difficulties, probably. Oh boy. Well, we're doing okay again. Some brigs, nice. We can actually upgrade some brigs now too. Let's see, you guys. I mean, what what else can I do here? Like naval stuff, I suppose. Plane stuff, sure. Since we've done pretty much everything we can in terms for research, or almost everything. String telephones, messenger seagulls, sails, sails, lots of speed, a heavy deck weaponry, yes. Lots of heavy deck weaponry, it's going to lower our speed, but that's okay. Long range optics, yes, 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 armor, storage compartments, uh, light deck weaponry, if you, ooh, maybe medium? Yeah, it's medium. Light deck, no, that was point defense. Get a ram on there, it slows us way down, but whatever. And for here... We'll do that. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. God dang it. I forgot we only have so much naval XP now. So we'll make some good ships, but we'll make even better ones later on. Let's get some armor on these guys so they're usable and they won't die immediately. Oh, that sucks. Remove that then. Uh, do we have three? Can I throw three onto anything? It looks like it's only going to be five. Ah, so be it. Try ring throughout. Can do throughout. out. Can do that. That's fine. Loads of screens. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Hopefully, you don't die on the way down here. Which might happen. Which might just happen. Oh, man. If we can push well and hard enough, quick enough, we can probably do okay. As long as we can still pierce them, that's what really matters. Good. More spec ops is always good. Where are you guys at? I'm going to have to have you guys come down here then. Sucks. Oh, it sucks so much. But, we've already taken the capital. We are destroying a few divisions here and there, it looks like. They have less than 100 now, which is awesome. Less than 99. We just, just destroyed at least one more, hopefully. As long as they can't pierce us, or as long as we can pierce them, that's all that matters. Woo! Get a few more caps. Oh, we're still sending out manual prospectors. That's good. We just gotta drain their stockpiles of stuff, because, man, we are lacking and doing okay. The Brothers War, 87 divisions, okay. Stockpile-wise... They don't have a lot of robots, actually. Hold on. Yeah, um... They got a lot of heavy lifter robots. Light robot-wise, they're not looking that good, actually. They might be out of equipment, then. That's very, very good for us, then. Good, we're doing that, too. We're done with this, we're done with this, we're done with this. Actually, we're not done with this. We, got scra we need scrap, actually. We're doing okay in some places, so I'm not too worried about this to a degree. Ah, cut him off, kill him off. Good, good, good. 
And 1v1, we're probably going to win most of these matches since we got Recon, we've got Piercing. That's all sorts of good stuff, my friends. All sorts of good stuff. How much infantry equipment do we have? We're going to need a lot. We're going to need a lot of support equipment, too, so. Thank you. Nice. Throw that division in there. Uh, how close are they? Oh, they're almost. Oh, they're almost gone! If we can take San Luis, that'd be great. Yeah, you both help out, actually. Can we pierce them? Yes, we can. But they're still pretty strong, even if, even if we can pierce them, so. But we're coming down here. This is nice. Oh, they took some tiles back. That's not good. This is one bloody... Well, it's bloody on our side. On their side, it's not that bloody. Since they're mostly just robots. But, you know. You know what I mean. Oh, we actually got down here, too. That's kind of cool. Hey, they capitulated! Great! Hope we can unify Mexico. That was a lot better than I thought what would happen. More naval dockyards? Great! Um, we don't believe in those. Uh, more brigs, I guess, for now. Even though they're not that great, either, but that's okay. Uh, schooner holes. Well, then. Not bad. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> That manpower is kind of thick, not going to lie. And I guess we could do Land of Empires, but it doesn't really do much for us. In this wild south, there exist great empires forged and built on blood and war. The Blue Demon shall lead the Federation to our own empire and take on those mighty titans. Mano el Mano. Petro Chicos. Oh, that is a thick Petro. Holy cow. I'm going to need way more divisions now, though. Oh, my goodness. Make, uh, go up to 20. Holy cow. Yeah, it's going to cost us quite a bit of caps. But, oh my goodness. Oh, you have me very interested now. Oh my god. Um, I guess... I really want to see... Actually, you know what? I kind of want to see Pe Petro Chico take them all out down here. Is Costa Capinata a puppet at, at all? Or are they just by themselves? Oh no, they're all fighting each other. There's no one's allied here. They're all... It's a three-way war down here. <sighs> Don't want to fight Cosmos Legion in the light of Vegas, but they're going to fight those guys. Uh, I guess these guys are next then. I hope we can form Mexico. That'd be kind of cool. All I want in this campaign is all of Mexico, that's all, but eh, we'll see what happens. But you know what, I'll set this up off-screen. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we will uh, probably end up taking out Kaisar's Legion. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!